So welcome to another video from sickmaths.co.uk where you find the whole of GCSE Maths Explained on video or for free and find some amazing revision guides. This one's about transformations. There are different transformations, four of them. Trans to, a transformation is to change, you know, like in Transformers, the robots, yeah, they change from one thing to the other. So there's four different ways of doing that. Translating, reflecting, rotation, and enlargement. Okay, so what is translation? That's the only one that's not obvious. Basically, it's a sliding effect, which is actually the easiest thing to do. Okay, so I can slide this shape as I have over here, five across and one up. Okay, now I I can do that from for one corner at a time and it will translate the whole shape. So if I translate this corner five across one up, then translate this corner five across one up, five across one up, then connect those corners, I would have translated this shape from here to there. Okay, and this this is the way I write it from A to B I'm translating five one. Okay, the across or the horizontal stuff I do first and the vertical stuff I do afterwards. Okay, now this these arrows tell me which direction is positive. So for horizontal movement the right direction is positive, that's a positive five. Okay, and then I go one unit up so I do a positive one. Now we notice if I do it the other way around from B to A like it says here, it's negative five and negative one because I've gone down one and left five. Or I should say it the other way around because I do the five first and then that because we do the X stuff before the Y stuff, so the horizontal stuff before the vertical stuff because X is before Y in the alphabet. Okay, just like you find in uh, when you do coordinates and stuff, you do the X stuff before the Y stuff. Anyway, let's do a bit of reflection now. So as before, we're going to ref as we did over here, we translated one corner at a time. We're going to reflect one corner at a time. It's a really badly drawn shape, isn't it? It's supposed to be a triangle. It's a bit wobbly there and there. I suppose fair enough. Okay, so I'm going to reflect from here to there. Uh, here's my mirror line. Now I'm sure you know a bit about reflection. I hope you do. I'm just I'm just going to be a bit lazy here. You got if you're um, corner over here is two squares away from the mirror line then the reflected shapes corner should be two squares away from the mirror line so two two one one uh, three three and then you just connect the corners that you reflected one at a time and then you just join them and you get the reflected shape the entire shape and that's it looks like I've done it really easily and maybe you could just do it by eye but surprisingly when it gets even slightly more complicated even these ones people get wrong so just do it one corner at a time makes it really easy okay another kind of mirror line that you get they don't give you too many types of mirror lines they give, either give you a nice flat one like this or uh, horizontal or completely vertical or exactly between the two they okay, gave 45 degrees yeah not like this or like that kind of thing yeah exactly right through the squares okay which means you can reflect it really easily like this if you count right through the square the other way so you, this is half a square away this corner is half a square away from the mirror line here so I go half a square away from the mirror line on the other side okay just as before one corner at a time this one 1.5 uh, squares one and a half squares so one and a half half and a one square Square away on the other side gives you the other reflected dot. Do the same for each of the corners and you get the reflected shape as before. Now, rotation. Rotation, first of all, you need to know that you're going to have a center rotation, basically where the shape is spinning around. Because if I have my center rotation there, you get a big circle like this. Okay, with a center rotation there, I get a nice small circle like that. Okay, so uh, the other thing I need to know is what angle I'm turning the shape by and which direction. So I'm going to turn it 90 degrees clockwise. Okay, and here's a little trick for this technique. Basically, it's just to uh, use of your imagination. As before, we're going to rotate each corner at a time, one at a time, and until we get the final rotated shape. But this is the technique. Okay, you make an L shape. Okay, uh, from your center of rotation to one of the corners. So let's say this corner. So here's my L shape, dotted L shape, which is two squares by one. Okay. Now, if I'm rotating that 90 degrees, this bit obviously goes here because can you see the 90 degrees there this bit obviously rotates to there okay so that's 2 1 but if you use your imagination if that's gone here 
the this bit here must be there. So yeah, rotate in your head. Ah, oh, there it is. Two one. 2, 1. Just remember the sizes, that's the important thing. They do give you squared paper, there is on squared paper, the question always on GCSE. So 2, 1, 2, 1, you rotate to that one corner. Let's do this corner, which is, should have been there really. 1, 1, I've just drawn it really badly. So 1, 1, rotate that because 1, 1. So that, ro this corner rotates to this corner. And then 2, 3, rotate that to 3. Yeah, 3 squares, and you've connect those corners together you've rotated the whole shape so whenever you're defining a rotation because often you have to okay don't forget to mention the center of rotation the angle and the direction okay now if you have to rotate it 180 degrees just rotate to rotate it twice, 90 degrees. Okay, two 90s make a 180. So if I had to rotate it 180 degrees, okay, clockwise or anticlockwise doesn't matter in this case because it gives you the same result. If you're rotating 180 degrees, I'm going to rotate this another 90 degrees. So watch this. This would go. So this two one would end up two one. So this corner would end up there. So this original corner there has ended up there. And that's it. Anyway, let's do a bit of enlargement now. Um, we've got different scale factors, which basically tells you how much bigger or smaller we're making. If you've got scale factor 2, that means we're doubling the size. We're times it by 2. Scale factor 3 is times it by 3, etc. Scale factor half is times it by half, so you make it smaller. Okay, so from A to B, okay, look how we do it. We've got a center of enlargement, just a bit like your center of rotation. Okay, it's a really important thing to, because it tells you um, which direction your shape is going. Okay, because basically, let me just go into it a little bit. If you've got your original shape here, which is called your uh, object, okay, and then your center of enlargement, okay, uh, your image uh, ends up on the other side to it. So basically, this is like a light bulb. In uh, do you remember those things called overhead projectors of HPs? And you put a little thing there, and then you get your shadow on the other side, not shadow, like an image of the thing on the other side, yeah, it's like rays of light going through, that's why the center of enlargement is really important, because it tells you where it's going to end up, okay, the object, uh, sorry, the image, or the enlarged shape is going to end up, okay, anyway, so, and it's also important for the working out, so the distance from uh, this corner to the center of enlargement is three across and two up. Okay, and notice we're going to enlarge one corner at a time, just like we did with the other types of transformation. So three across, two up. If we're going to do scale factor two, okay, that means times in by two. We're going to times up by two. So times up by two gives you six. Times up by two gives you four. So now, if I'm going to scale, do if I'm, if I'm going to enlarge this by scale factor two, that means I'm going to go six across, four up. Let's try this corner. Three across, three up. Double that. Scale factor two is six across, six up. Yeah, that gives you that corner and a similar technique for that and you basically connect the three corners together and you get the enlarged shape. Scale factor half, i.e. from B to A, times that by half. So times that by half gives you three, times that by half gives you two. Okay, and so now you've got the new distance from the center of enlargement. So if you had this was your original shape, okay, times each of these corners by half and you get the distance you need to go from here to the new shape. Okay, so that's from here to there is basically scale factor half, and you can see it's half the size. That's two squares tall, and that's one square tall. Okay, and you can see that um, even going backwards, if you go from one corner through to the other corner, it hits the centre of enlargement. Okay, and even if you do scale factor minus two, uh, so we're going to go from A to C, from here to there. Notice this corner, dot 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 dot, the ray of light going from this corner through the light bulb goes to the other side, hits that corner. That corner corresponds to that corner, doesn't it? That's the pointy out corner, that goes to the pointy out corner, that's the back corner, that's the back corner. Okay, so let's quickly use the technique here, times by minus 2, so times that by minus 2, that 3 times minus 2 is minus 6, 2 times minus 2 is minus 4. And notice, so 3 across, just like these axes told you before and these axes told you before, okay, right is positive, up is positive. So if I'm going 3 across, that's 3 right. If I'm going minus 6, that's 6 left. Okay, if I'm going minus 4, that's 4 down. That's 2 up, is positive 2. So I have to go minus 6, minus 4. 
Okay, and that's basically the technique. Let's do one more corner. Uh, this one here. Okay, this is one across one. What positive one, positive two. Okay, so times in by minus two gives you uh, negative two and. And that was four, wasn't it? I mean, that was two times two. Negative two is minus four. So uh, minus four, and that gives you that corner. And that's it, really.